Hello Libras, we begin with a whatever comes out. Good morning. I'm a little bit late on the channel, but better late than not be here at all. Welcome to the whatever comes out. We have a blessed here, Rosie Tarot deck. I'm going to begin starting, okay? Whatever comes out is rather interesting because it is whatever spills out. Welcome back to the channel. And we're going to do Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. All right, so what do we got for our Libras? An investment, love, and lifestyle investments, love and lifestyle, whatever comes out, who's communicating to. Welcome back to the channel. Whatever comes out is very random, just between you and me. So uh, we're going to get you and me. <laughs> Maybe someone's knee is in trouble. Let's get started. Libra, these messages are always for you. Okay. Uh, whatever comes out, top five cards, please. What's in the energy today? It is, I believe it's February 3. I'm so off today. Thank you. We have a not-so-good energy Capricorn, the devil card. It is ruled by Capricorn. Okay. Um, somebody's obsessions. I'm also hearing here like something hidden from the Empress, potentially Taurus and Libra. That's whatever comes out. Temperance, we got a Sagittarius, our first. Okay. Somebody here needs to like level out their emotions. I feel like it could be your person. It's not so much like I'm not getting Taurus and Libra energy. I think that you are holding a stable position. I'm not sure if you've been put here though in the recent days just due to matters of the heart, maybe taking care of things at home. There's someone who has like they often, I'm picking up, they often think of you. You're often in their thoughts. It can be obsessive because that's the card's true meaning. And the temperance card here could be coming from a Sagittarius, okay? Wanting to, like, set the record straight. I think they want to come toward you. What's the energy for the Empress in the whatever comes out, please? Man or woman with the uh, energy coming out to the female here. Okay, Knight of Wands. Yeah, you're going to get a message for sure. You're going to be hearing, I, I hear your phone call in the whatever comes out. So that's what I, I get as far as correspondence. Knight of Wands is also Sagittarius. Okay, what's being tempered here in the whatever comes out? How's this going to be? King of Cups, somebody's emotions or addressing it. Okay, could come from, it's really strange. The guy could actually look like this in the uh, King of Cups. It's Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio feelings. What's the devil card? What's Capricorn, please? Thank you. Three of Wands. Somebody is wanting to create expansion with you, learn more about you. Also, like they want to know your story, Libra. Like there's something very intriguing to this person. They feel like you could be um, in a supreme relationship with them too. They see that expansion is in your eyes. Empress, you have like a couple people coming toward you. Okay, if you only have one option, I feel like this can even be the same man, the King of Cups. Okay, uh, Wheel of Fortune, I saw this on the pre-shuffle for whatever comes out. It's interesting that the Wheel of Fortune, it is fate. It's going to happen anyway. Wheel of Fortune is a card that comes out in Aquarius season. I've noticed this through the years reading for many different people. It comes out a lot in Aquarius month. Okay, Um I see her something is about to shift and it might actually be something that you've been desiring. 333 on the clock. You could be seeing that too. There's a shift that's desired and you're actually pushing for that too. What else are the cards that are indicators? Thank you. Just one. The Hierophant. You're going to get a committal relationship coming up. There's a Taurus that thinks of you. How is this Hierophant waging in Libra's life? What are the um, positives? that's going on with that king of wands the four of wands you're coming to a commitment within self regardless this is a commitment card it's also speaking of like all things that are in the home right everything that's settled celebrations accomplishments is the four of wands too you feel at home somewhere um also, it could be a safety net at this time. There's security going on in this reading. Either for one of these people, someone's very secure. I see a king of cups that has mastered their emotions. I also see honesty coming to you and a lot of clarity, maybe coming from another person. Seems like the empress position is being held tight. I'm going to get a little singles out here too. Ace of cups. Let's talk about that. There's new love beckoning. Can I get a card for the ace of cups too? Can I get a card for this? Ace of Cups, thank you. Just one. I love it when Spirit does that. I do because I don't get varying cards. We have the Chariot. We have a Cancer Energy. This means momentum. 
The King of Wands, if you're dealing with a fire sign, somebody doesn't want to omit like this overwhelming amount of love for you. It's coming in as an Ace of Cups, okay? Um, there's a commitment here that I feel like somebody does want to talk about. It's being stressed with the water. And in Aquarius season, you know, they're known as the water bearers, Aquarians. Could be an Aquarius. I also see Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio in the whatever comes out. Could be a water sign. They want to create expansion. There's one too many ones, a lot, like from the king of wands to the three to the four. Something's going on here in sequence. Somebody is surveying in sequence. Someone is curious also in sequence. Okay, they're following their will here to come toward you. And the big card here, like the big stressed card is the temperance. I already have 12 on the desk, so let's see what else we have. You got a lot of major arcana on top of the empress. Just here alone is one, two, three, four, five, six with the uh, Wheel of Fortune. That's a lot of majors just in the beginning of the reading. I feel like somebody wants to come together with you. That keeps being told to me. Come together. Come together. It's being stressed. All right. See? <laughs> okay. Let's check out this temperance card. It's modesty. It's balance. And it's patience. Modesty, balance, and patience. If you notice, we've had three videos this week with just the triangle and the chest. Yesterday in the collective reading, this same emblem showed up. It's also in your temperance card today. Let's see what temperance is. Can I check out temperance, please? Can I see that? Temperance is the Ten of Cups. Happiness, wish fulfillment. Also, too, like you can live in your Ten of Cups right now in the current and be getting cues. Meaning, whenever you do something, you feel elation. You feel happiness. Also, even here, like a personal truth that you're coming to. Many of you could have a new vibrance to your step as opposed to going low vibrational and checking in there, right? Um, it's also spiritual. When I see an angel in the Ten of Cups, especially the Temperance Angel, I feel um, an elite happiness within. And it also can be showing on the outside of you. Uh, this is the whatever comes out the first one. Okay, uh, for the next one, we're going to do a love reading for the coming week. It will cover the 4th through the 10th. I'm going to do it for Libra, Aries, and Sagittarius, just those three signs. So stay tuned if you want to be in the next video. Also, I'll be selecting someone this week who will be winning a nice prize. I might give away two of my tarot decks. So your name will be in Wednesday's video. You'll be mentioned at the top of the reading, and I'll be with you momentarily. We're going to have some fun today with the second video.